Hello everyone, welcome back to OTD for 2019. Kicking off the year, we have the brand new set of Fast and F Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious line Fast Import Series. It's a five car set. There'll be another three to maybe four sets following later in the year, uh, but this is the initial series for the beginning of the year. Uh, you have five cars, you have the, they're all, they're all imports, as you can tell. You have the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 34. You have the Nissan Silvia S15. You have the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. You have the Lamborghini, Lamborghini Gallardo LP 570-4 Super Ligera. And then capping off the series, you have the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 32 in all black. This is my whole collection of Hot Wheels Fast and Furious cars. As you can see, there's been quite a few released since the initial uh, six car set, or was it eight car, eight car set maybe, that was released in 2013. You have quite a few repeats actually. Uh, every single car in this collection has is a variant of some sort. Most of them are wheel variations. There are some very, very minor differences in these, but this should be the complete collection you see in front of you. I'm sure somebody will tell me that it is not in the comments below, <laughs> but this is uh, kind of a momentous event here. Uh, for me, if you could see the cardboard carnage off to the side, you'll see that these are all freshly released. So, um, but Getting back to the 29 series uh, that was just released, I just found this in store at Target. Target seemed to get them first, um, and I've actually already seen a few people pick them up at Walmart Walmart as well. Uh, not sure what happened to the Amazon orders, as it appears all of them have been canceled, mine included, but that is okay. I, <laughs> I'm i in the green. I, I found I found this five-car set. I was, I was delighted to find it, and I'm stoked. So... Uh, but you will notice uh, the R34 Skyline, that, that, that car from the beginning of Too Fast to Furious is back. It's the number one car in the series. It is the fourth time this car has been released. Uh, fortunately for us crazy collectors that must collect everything, uh, you can tell them apart. Just based uh, loose, loose, you can tell them apart. You can tell them apart by the cards, especially. But uh, as far as loose is concerned, this new one obviously has you know the full treatment, full premium deco, which is far, far superior, vastly superior to the original three that had been released in that kind of Walmart basic line. The original one had the black spoiler. You can see that below, and then you can see that the second one had was converted to that metal spoiler, and it still had the the the, the stripes on the roof. And then that, that last one, I think it was actually released either last year or the year before, has zero tampos on the top of it. And it's kind of a more of a, of a shinier silver, I guess you could call it. But it is probably the most basic out of uh, the four of those seen there. Uh, next car in the 2019 series is the Nissan Silvia. Brand new casting, just released the end of 2018 in the retro, actually, excuse me, the Replica Entertainment, uh, the Forza series. So brand new casting. You have this, the first time it was released as a Fast and Furious car, you have the, the Mona Lisa deco from the third movie. So you have Han's kind of car that eventually, um, I forget the name of the character in the movie, but he ends up he ends up destroying the car, unfortunately, in a in a drift race. But um, I've actually included some of the uh, other ones from that movie down below, uh, with the '67 Mustangs and the uh, Nissan 350Z, and even even the Roadrunner you see at the end uh, with Dom and the Roadrunner at the end of that movie is included here. Uh, third car in the series, the '74 Escort RS 1600. English only car from Great Britain, obviously, 
Uh, third time this has been redone, oddly enough, the first time it was it made its debut was in the main line, and it had the Fast and Furious logo on the card. It was done in the Fast and Furious deco. Then it was finally released in the that Walmart exclusive Fast and Furious basic line in more of like a metal like dark blue there. And now you see it in that full premium Real Riders enamel blue, full detail. So definitely looking good. Obviously, you know th these five cars are are the best of the best here. This this premium line is is going to far exceed these these basic cars you've seen previously. So you know big things here in 2019 to expect uh, in terms of Fast and Furious. Um, I've also been told that there will be more diversity in the line. So um, hopefully you won't see a lot of these same cars repeated. You'll see some new cars. Like the one I've been wanting to see the most is the 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse, which has been rumored to be cast and it should be appearing in this line. So that first one in the first movie, Brian's car when he meets Dom for the first time in that street race, uh, that one should be coming to this line, hopefully. So, and then, you know, we, those, that first movie, all those, all those cars seem like classics. Um, you had Dom's RX-7, uh, hopefully that one will be coming too. So, but getting back to the 2019 line, you had a uh, yellow uh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, I'm not even gonna say the rest. LP, I guess I will. Okay, LP 570-4 Super Ligera. But uh, that one is from one of the more recent movies. I uh, don't actually recall uh, which one in particular, but uh, it's one of those, I mean, th there is, you know, the characters are driving up in it. So <laughs> it was a very short scene. Uh, it wasn't one of these these uh, main cars that you see on screen for a long time, but a you know, nice car regardless. Uh, second Lamborghini, I believe, uh, to be released as a Fast and Furious car. The first one being the, the orange one that uh, was driven by Roman in the latest movie, uh, Fate of the Furious. So you have that one in the bottom left there, the orange Lamborghini. So you have this new Lamborghini in yellow. Uh, you're not, not entirely distinguishable as a Fast and Furious car. You know, you if you saw it in a bit of cars, you probably wouldn't recognize it as a Fast and Furious car. But uh, regardless, it is a Fast and Furious car, so it is in this collection. The last car for 2019 is another Skyline. Uh, it's the first time we've seen the R32. It's a brand new casting, uh, at least, you know, in terms of the last year or two. And then this is the first time it's received the metal base uh, premium treatment. So we'll also see in car, 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 car culture later this year in the HKS uh, liver, livery. But this one is all black. Uh, it is from a scene in, uh, I'm getting my Fast and Furious is jumbled up here but it should have been, I think it was Fast Five, the one where they are in Brazil and uh, they're kind of driving through the slums of, uh, I think it was, I think it was Rio, but uh, yeah, they're, they're driving up um, through the slums of Rio and they have this, they have this, R, this R32 Skyline uh, all black. So definitely a cool car, but this collection, uh, you know, it's, it's been, Six years in the making now that it's 2019. It's the, the, the whole Fast and Furious license started in 2013. Um, as you can see, there's tons of, of different variants, uh, same cars released over multiple years. Um, the nice thing is, is that there are slight variances. So you, you know, I'll probably have to do a full feature on these, some of these later um, on the Orange Trek Diecast website, but just to kind of illustrate the differences, but here you can see kind of the, the vastness of, of the collection. So you can see, you know, that just that, you know, the, there's been like X number of Charger releases here. So, you know, just, just a great collection. Uh, you know, I'm, I obviously, I, I love watching the films. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, being a film buff, obviously, you know, they're not, you know, if you're going to the C, you know, Fast and the Furious 4, you know, the acting, um, you know, in, in, in terms of like winning awards, uh, you're going to be disappointed. But in terms of a guilty pleasure car movie with lots of action, uh, you know, great, great kind of movie just to kind of, you know, get your car nut out and, and see some cool cars, do some cool tricks. So 
This wraps up the first Fast and Furious premium line release for 2019. Um, I will be doing a feature on every single one of the waves uh, coming up here. So definitely uh, watch out for those. Um, and I'll break out the collection every time and we will continue to add to it. Uh, there is one car missing, however, that is released technically so far. Um, that is the 16 or the 15 Mercedes AMG GT uh, just released as part of the 2019 E-Case. So um, that, that case has yet to land in the United States, but um, I posted a video on Orange Shark Divecast. Uh, my friend Mosley, uh, his YouTube channel, he posted the case unboxing uh, earlier in the week. So uh, make sure you go check that out if you want to see the E-Case contents. But this is it. This is the, the Hot Wheels Fast and Furious collection. Thank you for watching. More to come.